Hello guys, welcome to another Dixieland tutorial. In the previous video, we discussed about the operation scenarios, the study cases, and the way how to group in our power system. And in this video, I am going to discuss about network variations. In the operation scenario, we learn that the change occurring only to the operator of our system. And there were no change according to the topology of our system. But I want to bring change to the topology of our system as well, without bringing any change to our main network system. So we can use network variations. As you see, one of it is simple as YND transformers. This is a network variations. If you right click and go to it is edit dialog, you can edit the name, color, and activation time. The activation time can be edited from the advanced option. You can also write the description. If we open it is branch and click on contents, then double click on one of these transformer. You will see that this transformer, which is located between bus part of 0 to 30, has the type as YND5. And all these transformers, which are located here, have the same type as YND5. If you want to see the type of this transformer in our main system, select Marking Graphic. Double click on your market transformer. You will see that the type of our transformer here is Y in Y0. If you activate these network variations and check again that transformer, you see that the type is changed to YND5. If you deactivate this network variation again, our system will return back to its original state. Let me tell you. When do we use network variations? This is actually used when you want to add some extra elements to our network system, such as adding a parallel transformer next to this transformer or adding a parallel line next to this line, and then compare them with the original one. Okay, let's create a new variations to see how it works. You can create from the data manager or you can do directly from here. All of them doing the same thing. Right click on variations, then select new and click on variation. Then name it whatever you want. Select the color, then edit the activation time. From the advanced option, click here, then click on date and time. And the current date and time will be automatically updated. Then determine the end time and click OK. For activation, it will ask as do you want to activate the new variation? Click yes. After activated our new variation, it asks to create an expansion stage inside of our variation. Name it as new line, then click OK uh, and click Yes. Now whatever change you bring to your system, that will be added to the expansion stage of new line. For example, I want to create a new line parallel to this line between bus 06 and bus 11. As you see, there is no any drawing tools and the elements are also cannot be moved or resized because the network were freezed. So click here to unfreeze it. 
and the drawing tools now appear. Click on line, then draw it parallel to this line. Double click and name it as new line. We should also define a type. Let us select the type of it is parallel line. Enter to the line type and select line type 0611. Then click OK. If we deactivate our variation, the system will return back to its original state. And the line that you see here is become highlighted as gray color. The other kind of variation that we can do in our network system is changing the type of our line. For example, I am going to change the type of this line. For that, we can create a new variation or can do that in this variation. Let us create a new expansion stage. Right click, then from new, create your new expansion stage. Name it as new line type. Click OK. Then click Yes. Now our new line type is set as the recording expansion stage. Let's change the type of this line, double click and then click on select project type and take a copy of this line and paste it in order not to change our network system. Then select it and click OK. Let's change the resistance to 0 0.01. Click OK. Now a new type is created for our system. Let me declare the color for the variation. Click on diagram coloring. Then from here select variations. And put it in the modification in recording expansion stage. The elements that were modified or the types that were changed is represented in red color and the new added elements are represented in green color and also the touched but not modified element is shown in blue color. Click OK. As you see the modified element is changed to red color. If you want to return to the new line expansion, just right click on new line, then click on set recording expansion stage. Then click yes. Let's change the type of this line as well in the new line type expansion. Double click. and take a copy of that and paste it here then click OK and change the resistance to 0 0.03 click OK now as you see the type of our element is changed and our line turned to red color one more thing to tell you about the network variation. Selecting a new type can be considered as network variation, but changing the data of our type cannot be considered as network variation. For example, if we double click on this line and change the data of its type, you will not observe any change color is the same as before if you deactivate the variation and see the type of this line you will see the change and by the activation of our network this is not returned back to its original state so we conclude that the change of type can be considered as variation 
but changing the data of our type is not considered as variation. To see what kind of change is done to our network or see our variation elements, click on Data Manager. Then click here and you will see all the variations. The plus sign here means that these elements are added to our base network. In the new line type, there is a triangle sign next to them. It means that in this variation, no new elements are added to our network. These were just modified. In variation, we can also delete the elements. Let us define a new expansion and name it as delete a line. Then click OK and click Yes. As you see, we are now in delete a line variation. Let us delete this line. Now the line is delete only in the delete a line variation, but it's not deleted for our base network. If we deactivate our variation, you see that our line is existed and it was not deleted. If we activate it again our variation, the line will disappear. That is all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like and subscribe your channel.